Slopes of lines. You've learned about slopes of lines in algebra. Now we're going to continue that study in geometry. If you recall from algebra, slopes of lines is done by calculating the change between your y coordinates and your x coordinates. We often refer to that as rise over run. We have two different formulas we can use. We could do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or we can do y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. The ones and the twos are not exponents. They are not above the variable, they are below. That just is a way to separate out the coordinates so that we do not confuse them when we do our calculations. We have one group of coordinates with the ones below it and one group of coordinates with the twos below it. You'll see how that works as we do our first example. The first thing I need to do is check which one is going to be my x1s, y1s, and which one's going to be my x2, y2. I'm going to choose 2, 3 to be my 1s and my negative 4, 1 to be my 2s. Now what I'm going to do is subtract my y's. So I will do 3 minus, that's the y from my 1, minus my y from my 2. Now since I started with the 3, I must now start with the 2 for my x's. 2 minus negative 4. We now have it set up. Now we just need to finish our calculations. 3 minus minus 1 is really 3 plus 1, which would give us 4. And 2 minus minus 4 would give me 6, which is the same as 2 thirds. We would say that m, which is the letter for slope, is equal to 2 thirds, which means if I choose any point on my line and I count up to 1, 2, and over 3, I should find another point on my line. Let's try it out. From this dot, the blue one that's at negative 4, 1, I go up 1, 2, and over 1, 2, 3. I'm on my line. I could do it again. Up 2, over 3. Up 2, over 3. I can do this forever because, as you remember, lines go forever and continue to find additional points on my line. That's how we can calculate a slope. Now here we have a question without the graph. Find the slope of a line passing through 5, negative 2, and negative 3, 7. Well, if we think of this as a picture, 5, negative 2 would be to the right 5 and down 2. And negative 3, 7 would be left 3 and up 7. So we know that's where our line is at. What we're trying to find is the slope of that line. Once again, we've got to decide which point will be our group 1. I'm going to use the negative 3, 7. Therefore, I will do 7 minus negative 2 over negative 3 minus 5. Doing this, I will get 9 over negative 3 minus 5 would be negative 8. So our m, which is our slope, is negative 9 eighths. Notice this one we got a negative. Our line went up and to the left, which is represents a negative slope. The previous example had a positive slope. All lines that go up and to the right will always have a positive slope. It's an easy thing to use to check to make sure that you have the right slope. That is the end of the slope part of our lesson.